Hello everybody, hope you're doing okay. It's Wednesday evening. I'm doing my session on a Wednesday this week. I've got a week and a day to my 3000 meter race at Harrow next Thursday. So starting to think about sharpening up a bit for that. So coach is set today, bit of an interesting one. 10 minutes uh, marathon effort, three minutes rest, seven minutes at uh, threshold effort, which I think is sort of my 10 mile speed. So about sort of 6.20 pace, maybe about 6.50 for the marathon. And another three minutes rest five minutes at 10k speed which I hope to try and do about six minute mile pace three minutes rest and then three minutes at 5k speed which I'll aim to run that a bit quicker than the 10k speed <laughs> if I can right so I can do a little warm-up and then we'll get on with this session oh and by the way today I've gone back to the original next percent sort of the FOD colorway here so I do think for me these just provide a bit better lockdown and a bit lighter weight than next percent too so we'll see how we go in this today okay just over a mile warm-up done not feeling too bad actually it's quite cold again a bit windy so this could be easy one way and easy harder the other but i'm gonna do a little 10 minute circuit up to the lights at Hinchley wood and back down littleworth lane or something like that i think it's about 10 minutes i'm not sure if there's a segment if not i'll go and make one <laughs> and it's probably an obscure loop right i'm about to set off so not many footage of me running today, I don't think, because I can't really leave the camera. But anyway, so I think I'll try for about 6.50, 6.45 pace for this 10 minutes. And see how we go. Right, see you later. Okay, seven and a half minutes in. Bang on pace, 6.47. It was a bit of a shock this pace, but I'm not breathing very hard, am I? So, okay, see you in a bit. Okay, decent start, 1.75 miles at 6.43 pace. A little climb at the end. I just ran on a bit to complete that lap. Uh, so now I'm jogging back. And I think what I'll do now is continue up and down this country lane. Or sort of country lane, because it's a nice smooth surface. And then I'll head back to Claygate. Maybe find a loop for the quicker bit. So what pace am I going to do here? Threshold pace. Well, on the track for five, on the track the other day for 2K, I did, uh, what did I do, 6.12, well that's quite a short session, so I think on the road, I'm for about 6.25, something like that, see how we go there. So, 7 minute one done, that was, bang on, 6.23 pace, so just in and out and back to silly hours, basically, and back, so it's sort of easier out, because it's slightly downhill, but a conversation, it was of a wind there was seem to slightly help it coming back so yeah right onto the five minute one see if we can get this close to six minute mile pace i've got a little loop here i think i can do i think there's a segment for so let's see how i do on that one okay so five minute one done i think i made it a bit hard on myself because of course it's speed bumps and moving up and down only gradual so i think it's 613 pace average so i'm pleased with that so it looks like I watched earlier on, it was about 6.25, so it took me a while to even get faster than the seven minute effort. So I think I'll do last one, the 5k effort, down to Silly Hours, which I think is one of three minutes, and then jog back for warm down. Right, see you after three minutes. Oh, certainly worked that last one. 5.47 pace for three minutes. That's felt like it was uh, hard work, but good to get the pace up, so did help by running on a straight line on a good surface no bumps or anything just a few cars to avoid but yeah that's a good session we'll jog back now and see you another day hello everybody it's thursday welcome to the former site of swan one station this is on the new or well, soon to be new east west rail line it's also a disused line that's sort of connected oxford and cambridge but they're actually reinstating a line. And this used to be where Swan Sw One Station is. It was a swing the camera around. It used to be the old platforms there. I'll see if I can find some pictures to show you. But now it's a completely different scene. I haven't been here for a few months. There used to be the station master's house here as well, but they demolished that a few months ago and the guy living in it had to move away. That was a bit sad for him, but I think he'd lived there for many, many years. But uh, if we get a new railway, that can't be a bad thing this day and age. So I think we go up to that next bridge 
and see what we can see on top of the bridge. This sign here saying not to trespass on the railway used to be there when there was no railway, which is kind of ironic. When I mean, there still isn't a railway, but there will, it will be soon. And uh, that will be very much uh, true. I wonder if the fine really is a thousand pounds. I think that might have been a thousand pounds from 20, 30 years ago. So uh, I won't risk it today. I'll actually run on here. I'll have to see whether I've still got a segment. I don't think I'm going to get an opportunity to run on it again, am I, unfortunately? But there you go. That way is heading towards Bletchley and then onto Milton Keynes. And this is the view into the former Swanbourne station. So this footpath used to go over the old railway here, but obviously they've closed off these paths for now. Some of them I think they're building sort of either diversions or bridges over or whatever, but uh, obviously not a priority of the day on this one. Right, but about head back to Swanbourne little village where I parked up, which is about a mile and a half away and a uh, nice little recovery run, feeling a bit tired after my uh, session yesterday, quite pleased with that in the end but uh, still some work to be done. So this first race a week today in fact, so uh, I'm starting to get nervous about that but uh, you only do your best, you're one of uh, over a thousand races I've ever done so <laughs> not as if I'm not uh, used to them is it? Oh well the shoot today was the endorphin speed in the New York colourway, it was a nice one. Always a welcome sign for an old railway enthusiast, Station Road, leading to an old station. That is, yeah, it will be an old station. They won't be rebuilding that one. Okay, signing off from Swanbourne Station outside the church. Looks like a bit of a war memorial over to that side, if you can see that one. So yeah, nice little picturesque little Buckinghamshire village. I think it's, I think it's Buckinghamshire. We've got Swanbourne House behind us here. Okay, so physio down with Mark Booth and Lisa Webber at Body Limits, who I normally see. Highly recommend it if you are ever in the area, or in my case, travel a bit to get here. I've been seeing them for about 20 years now. So nothing particularly wrong at the moment, just a bit stiff, so always good to be able to get a loosen up, especially with the race coming up. So, all right, time to head back and see you another day then. Bye. Hello everybody, hope you're doing okay. Well, it's Saturday evening and I've come once again to basics though. Anyway, today's session is three sets of three 300s with only 30 seconds rest between. Now this seems a bit of a cruel one, but we have got three minutes between sets. So coach has to do these at 5k pace. So I need to work out what that is. I think probably it's a bit slower than last week when I did 82s, but uh, we'll see how we go. And we're gonna finish it off with three by 200 in spikes just to get a bit of feeling for, the, for using them on Thursday when I've got a 3000 meter race. So it's exciting. So last, probably last little session before that race and at least the sun's come out and it's not as cold as it was last week. It's still a bit of a spring chill in the air, it's about 13, 14 degrees. So I'll get on for a warm up and we'll start the session later then. Bye. So warm up done, did about two and a half K in lane five using the track run facility on my Garmin 945. Obviously you have to run further for 400 meters in lane five because of the stagger. So I think it sort of worked it out quite well. That's why it was, instead of being 2,400 meters for six laps, it was 2,560 for six, if <laughs> you see what I mean, in lane five. Anyway, right, time to do a few strides and stuff. I feel a bit lethargic today. I don't know if I'm starting to get a bit nervous or, because I've sort of had a slightly easier week. I haven't done quite so much volume this week, but I think it's, uh, one of those occasions when you start to do less when you're doing more. And I had a massage on treatment on Thursday, so sometimes after that I actually feel more stiff because they really work you hard at that. So something I need to be aware of because I haven't had one for a while. Well, but this is I haven't had one. This is only my second massage for in the last few months, obviously due to lockdown. So I think the body sort of almost gets used to it having it or it not having it. And uh, I remember this happened last summer after lockdown. I went and had a few. And uh, although it helped me out in a lot of ways, in other ways it sort of made me stiff for a few days. So I think I need to be aware of that and uh, just adjust the training. Maybe I'll talk to my coach about that. Anyway, right, let's go on these strides. Okay, warm well, up done, a few drills and a few strides. So the session is three sets of three 400s. 30 seconds between the fours and three minutes between the sets. So right, 
I think I'll try and aim for about 84, 85 a lap, see how that feels. Maybe push on a bit towards the end if I feel okay. Then I've got these three twos to finish. Okay, first set done, that's 82s and 83, so that was all right, about the same as last week. Felt, uh, third one felt a bit harder on that very short rest, 30 seconds. But only got time to turn it around and be ready to go again. I think it's the shortest rest I've ever had on a 400 meter rep. It's usually the sort of 10 fours by a minute, but uh, if we're doing 5K, we don't get a minute rest until you end them, do we? This is normally a 500 meter session, so by shortening the rest this much, really turns out to more of an endurance session. Okay, second set done. Slightly off the 81, that's probably a bit bold. I think it was about 83 and 84. 84, I felt like I was working a bit there. That's not surprising after these 30 seconds. Right, so one more set to come. Okay, see if I can keep these three honest. Too many people about. I'm nervous about leaving the camera, so I'll put it in my pocket next to. Okay, session of four's done. I think the last set were. What did I do? I should take the watch. So I'm about 82, I think we finished with a 78, a bit more effort, so. Yeah, that's only felt I was working quite hard there, and it was, wasn't really 5K pace, so I'm not sure I quite did that right. But anyway, good session. So now I'll put the spikes on, I've got the dragonflies on, and I had the next percents on before that, so I'm gonna do these three twos. Okay, two down, a 37 to start, and a 35 to next one. I feel a bit stiff in the right calf, which is a bit worrying, because that's the injury I had last year. So, a bit cautious on this last one. Not feeling half as bad though as I would do this time last year. Could be just a reaction from the fours. Just not used to these harder surfaces, so it shows me at 54. I'm not like I was when I was 24. I can tear around the track. But anyway, 35 is not too bad. So I'll get around this one in one piece. Okay, the 300s done, I decided to try and my arm in the air zoom victories. I think they're a bit extreme for me at the moment anyway. So that was the 35 to finish holding the camera, so maybe I shouldn't have really done that. But anyway, I don't think I was going to go much faster. This is not too bad when you think about it, because I mean, I did 2800, 800 last year. That would have been 35, just under 35, wouldn't it? So in terms of um, 
800 meter speed, not much in it. I think back in the day I probably would be looking to get those under 30, but uh, that was back in the day. I certainly could feel my calf a bit now on the right, so I need to be a bit careful of that. And that fast bend running doesn't really help, but uh, I won't be running around the bend at uh, 70 second laps, I think, in the 3000 meter race. I think I'll be okay to wear spikes, but uh, we need to take it easy between then and now. Do a bit of foam rolling and stuff on this calf. Make sure it's uh, nice and ship shape. Right, a little warm down now. Better not do that in the Dragon Clies. That's probably a big mistake. Okay, little face strips just on the warm down in the Invincibles. And honestly, they are great for warm downs when you've got very stiff legs. Okay, and here are the Invincibles after a nice warm down. A nice little just a mile and a half just around this local side street. And yeah, so another good session. Just a bit cautious about my right calf, so. Uh, Probably won't do too much huge in the way of big sessions now between now and Thursday. So I can get around my first race in six months then. Hello everybody, I'm in Oakshot delivering my wife. <laughs> Deliver the wife's message, shall we say. But these houses are absolutely gigantic, so getting a bit of a workout in, just sort of going from door to door. Size of my garment after I've done about a third of them, and I've already walked 1.4 miles, and I've still got a few more to do yet. So if I get back to my car, it'll be about two and a half miles. So yeah, she better win. <laughs> I'll have to go for a run afterwards. I come back here to run actually. Okay, we're actually now on my Sunday run. I've got the GoPro, so it has to be on the iPhone. On the iPhone. This is where I went, dropping off. To all the soon leaflets that are on. So just a general little four miler. I've actually got the Asics Meta races on. I wanted to compare them with the Meta Seed Skies that I've got, which are way too small. So I'll have to go back, obviously. But uh, yeah, Meta races are runnable because they're longer, even though they're both a size 12. But the Meta Seed Skies are way, way too short. Levers Trust private property, so. Can't go in there. Anyway, thanks for coming along. Hope you found this interesting. And look forward to seeing the next one. It'll probably be Thursday in the race at Harrow. Okay, cheers, bye.